Weather Authority local forecast. Welcome back, everybody. Hopefully you've had a wonderful Wednesday. Let's take a peek at your RV world of Yuma Sky Cam. We got a little bit of wind activity. We got clear skies and what we had yesterday, but still some thunderstorm activity in our midst. We'll get into that in just a few moments. But first and foremost, let's get into the air quality in the Imperial Valley. We're moderate through and through, so a par for the course kind of day in that particular regard in the valley. So we go beyond that as far as what we're looking at as far as the satellite radar is concerned, you can see plenty of thunderstorm activity ranging in northern to central Arizona and continuing to pop even over into southeastern Arizona as well. But you see some cells firing off, yes, in Yuma County, up in the eastern to northeastern part of Yuma County. I'll get out of the way of this thing right here. As you can see, we're starting to see a development in our midst. So we'll continue to keep our eyes peeled on that. You can see that the cell activity is kind of stretched out a little bit, broken up into two particular cells. We'll see where that goes as we get on into the latter afternoon. But here's what we're looking at temperature wise. We're just slightly below where we should be for this time of year. 106 degrees is where we should be temperature wise. And we're pretty close to that number as well over on the Gila Valley side of things. And then we get over to your future cast. You got high pressure in the Midwest. It's been anchored there for a while. It's going to continue to work its way into our direction, which means we could have more of that subtropic moisture. We're already getting it from Enrique just a little bit, and that's why we're feeling the icky stickies at least to some degree outside. Your future cast, here's the expectation as far as what we're going to be dealing with over the course of the next few days. So there will be some isolated activity. Now it can even get into Yuma County and even Yuma itself. So we'll continue to keep our eyes peeled on that. 7 p.m. We'll get to about 100 degrees and then we get into the overnights. It should still be uh, relatively, I guess you can say mild for this time of year, but you know, overnights are warm. Let's just face it. All right, your extended forecast, you can see that we are going to, when we get to it, uh, get to those temperatures and those temperatures will stay in the triple digits and then some. So yes, we are going to keep that momentum going. And yes, we do have thunderstorm momentum as well. In the 4th of July, we can even see it in the Imperial Valley, guys. So yeah, we could have more fireworks than just fireworks. I'm looking forward to it either way. All right, thank you, Rob. So